hello everyone and welcome back to my bathroom who remembers my bathroom videos um we are back for an updated 2020 winter skincare routine this is what i've been doing recently sharing some of the products i've been loving my lips are quite dry and they have been for the winter time so i really like to exfoliate my lips i have the henny organics this is a lip exfoliator in lavender mint and I'm just going to take it on my finger and scrub it. Mm -hmm. I like using my finger because I just find it gives a little bit more pressure than just rubbing my lips together. Just dampen the corner of a washcloth and scrub it and rinse it off. I kind of lick off the rest because it tastes good and it's natural so lip exfoliation done now let's move on to cleansing our skin now a few of these products I'm going to mention have been in my 2019 favorites if you guys watch that and they have continued to be a favorite for me in the beginning of 2020 so both morning and night but predominantly night I am using an oil or a balm cleanser I have been loving the Sahajan essential oil cleanser this was a favorite of mine in 2019 this is also a really, really good option. It's a huge amount of a kind of solidified balm uh, cleanser. So I'll show you what that looks like. It has a very kind of mild scent to it. It's thick and it just kind of turns into this beautiful balm, which I absolutely love. And then another option that I've been trying out recently in 2020, that's a new launch for Lila B. They're kind of introducing a few more like skincare products, which is amazing. That is the Lila B Aglow Cleansing Balm. Very similar in terms of um, that like thick balmy consistency it's a nice pink color and this is it's already launched in sephora as of two days ago so january 14th and again this is a nice balmy consistency has kind of like a very 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 mild i want to say a little bit of a minty smell but again very mild and nothing too uh intense because we are you know trying out some new products for 2020 let's go ahead and use our lila b a glow so i just take a little bit i just kind of scrape it on the back of my fingernail warm it up and i'm gonna apply that to my skin they have so many moisturizing benefits for the skin and my dry skin in the winter needs as much moisturizing properties as it can get from both my cleanser and my other serums and moisturizers you can give yourself a little facial massage so with just some warm water on a washcloth I'm going to rinse off any residue and i find since doing this skincare routine my skin has just been really really clear really glowy i think a lot of it has to do with the food i'm putting in my body as well and the supplements i've been taking that just support a really healthy internal balance that reflects in my skin so now my skin is nice and cleansed with that oil balm cleanser. I'm actually gonna go in with a little bit like of a second cleanse slash toner, and that is the Audacity Blue Aura Cleansing Water. And I'm just gonna go in with a cotton round, like so. And I like the ones from Quo. And I find this just super refreshing. This has a combination of Ayurvedic ingredients, salicylic acid, so it's gonna really help to tone your skin, kind of like tighten your skin and add some extra glow and resurfacing. But a very mild resurfacing, nothing that like tingles or 
um, hurts at all. So after I've done that, I go in with my vitamin C. So I actually have two vitamin Cs, one which was my favorite from 2019, and another one that I started kind of playing along with, or playing around with for the last maybe two months. So I'm gonna show you that as well and kind of tell you the differences and why I like either one of them. So the first one I have is the Agent Nature Holy C. This is a vitamin C derivative. It is a combination of calcium and sodium ascorbyl phosphate, and you have to activate this with water. You can use just plain old water, but I really like using the Agent Natcha Holy Water, and this together just makes such a beautiful combination. It really helps to immediately plump my skin and brighten my skin. This also has a combination of rose, hyaluronic um, acid, pearl, so it's a really, really great serum toner in itself. It kind of has a little bit of a thicker, more slimy, serum -y consistency versus like a mist. I really like how you can basically activate your vitamin C right as you were about to use it. It's a longer shelf life, it's more stable, and it also prevents your vitamin C from oxidizing. So this is a really great option. I absolutely love it. The other vitamin C that I've been playing around with is actually from Marie Veronique, and this is a brand that I've had my eye on for a very long time, and they were kind enough to actually send me an email and offer to send me their vitamin C. And the reason why I really like this vitamin C, it does come pre in a uh, serum formula. It is in a uh, UV protected glass, which is also really important when it comes to preventing your vitamin C from oxidizing. So if you have a vitamin C that's in a clear glass, I would stay away. It should be in a UV protective dark glass bottle. Glass as well is super important. Um, but I really like this one because it has a combination of vitamin C, E, and ferulic acid, and the combination of those three has actually shown to enhance the performance of your vitamin C, enhance the absorption and the results, and so that's what I really like about this. It's very scientific based, but also uses supernatural ingredients. So I really, really enjoy this brand. They are quite pricey, along with Agent Nutshaft, but if you want a really good vitamin C that's going to be effective, then I highly recommend investing in that because vitamin C is really where you're going to see really amazing skin improvement and benefits. The thing about this serum as well is it does contain pure L-ascorbic acid, which is the pure form of vitamin C, with a few other vitamin C derivatives. Um, and it's really cool. It says antioxidants by day, collagen by night, new genius C derivatives. So really, really great product. Um, because I have shown you my Agent Nutche Holy Sea and Holy Water in the past, I will be using this product today. So I take a couple pumps in my hand, and I just apply that all over my face and my neck. And I just pat it all in just to make sure it's absorbed. So after applying that, I'm gonna go in with a new product that I have been trying out and absolutely loving. Now this product was actually in the January Detox box. It's by the brand Ayuna and it is the Cellular Oil. The bottle and packaging of this is so minimalist and beautiful. So I'm just gonna take a few drops in my hand. This also smells incredible. It has a kind of like a sweet fruity scent. And I'm going to apply this all over my face. I use this morning and night. So this is a really interesting serum um, oil that I really want to tell you about. I am going to bring up the page just so I can tell you a little bit more about how unique and amazing this specific serum is. Now, this is one fluid ounce, which is 30 milliliters. Um, and what they have done is they've extracted stem cells from a millennium wild olive tree. Using patent technology, microlipids are obtained from the cell's membranes, providing extraordinary benefits vital in reviving the skin's appearance and triggering its energy rejuvenating cycles. So it's quite of a pricey product. It is 185 US dollars. So really cool, totally understand the price range for this product because they're using really interesting technology to introduce a new type of ingredient and science into skincare and again natural skincare which is amazing so after applying that I'm gonna go in with a bit of an eye serum I have been using the audacity baobab I can't say this um, and sarsaparilla which is the BA plus S um, serum concentrate for eye contour and it's got like a little stainless steel 
roller so it feels really nice and cooling and I just do one swipe under the eyes and with my ring fingers I'm just going to pat that in again this is super super delicate skin right under the eyes so just to prevent tugging I'm going to pat that in and then I kind of just rub it in between my eyebrows. The other thing I want to mention is a moisturizer. The moisturizer that I've been using at nighttime is the Goop Replenishing Night Cream. This stuff I kind of re-fell in love with and I remember why I love this product so, so much. Um, it just makes my skin look so good the next morning. Um, I also find that when I do apply it instantly, my skin just looks so much more plump and hydrated. So I have been loving this at nighttime. Again, quite a pricey product. This is definitely more of a luxurious skincare routine because a lot of the products are on the pricier end. Um, and that is just my personal taste. I tend to invest in really high quality skincare products because that is what's going to carry me through throughout the years. Um, and that's what you pay for for very high technology and natural ingredients. For moisturizer, I have been using the Tata Harper Illuminating Moisturizer. Um, this stuff has a really beautiful kind of pink pearlescence to it. And it's been my day moisturizer and I find that it just gives my skin a really beautiful glow. You can already see like, look at that shine and dew. And because my lips have been super dry, it's critical that I apply my Henne Lip Mask. to moisturize those lips, especially after I have exfoliated them. And lastly, the next step is to apply some sunscreen. This is the Cyberderm Simply Zinc Ultra Transparent Sunscreen Lotion made with 25% zinc oxide, certified organic bio UVA ultra, and sheer illuminating tint. This has SPF 50. So I have been using this because it has a bit of a tint to it so when I don't want to wear any um, like foundation or anything I find this kind of just gives my skin a little bit of color not really a lot of coverage but hey your sunscreen is super important it should be your last step because you want it to be right on the surface And I like to be very meticulous about how I apply this because I want to make sure I have coverage everywhere. So there we go. Here is my winter updated skincare routine and I hope you really enjoy today's video. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you have any questions at all about any of the products I've used, then definitely leave it in the comment section down below. Otherwise, all the products that I use in today's video are listed down in the description box, including the ones I mentioned and the ones I've actually put on my face. So you guys can use that as a reference if you are looking at purchasing any of these products. Thank you so much again for tuning in and definitely stay tuned for more videos coming up. Bye guys.